Hello, my name is Marissa Blankenship and I work in the Youth Services Department at the Roanoke Public Libraries. Today I want to take a few minutes to tell you about an amazing free resource you have access through with the Roanoke Public Libraries called Tumble Books. Tumble Books is an educational website focused on reading and there's also a math version called Tumble Math, which we'll talk about, which focuses on building kids' math skills through reading and stories. And you can access Tumble Books in a couple of ways. There is an app that's available on Apple and Android devices, and I'll show you how to log into that um, using our library password and account. And you can also access it through your browser, which is what we're going to focus on today. So once you're on your browser, you're going to want to go to the Roanoke Public Library's website, which is roanokeva.gov slash library. And once you type in roanokeva.gov slash library, it will take you to our homepage. And you'll want to scroll about halfway down the homepage to a section that says quick links and then library resources available at home. You can also go where we're about to go by clicking internet resources over here on the left. But we're gonna go ahead and click library resources available at home. And then if you scroll about halfway down our internet resources page, you'll see where it says tumble book library and below that tumble book math. So if you're going to access a tumble book library app, through your smart device, you would want to enter this username here where I'm wiggling the mouse, and then this password, and that will give you access to all of the amazing materials that the libraries have access to. So for the browser, go ahead and click this Tumblebook Library link, and it will take you to the Tumblebook Library homepage. So this is a really exciting resource because it gives your children the opportunity to work on their reading skills and their reading comprehension, and it gives you access to over a thousand books that are always available. You don't have to check them out. There's no wait list or anything like that. So you can just access them anytime you'd like. And the portion of the website that's going to be most of interest to you is this section in kind of the upper third of the page here, these different colored tabs where I'm circling the mouse. And these are the different types of materials that are available. So there's storybooks, there are read-alongs, some eBooks so your child can sit down and read a full book. Same for graphic novels and nonfiction. There are also some videos which we won't go into today, but if you're studying particularly a science or a social studies topic, there are some great resources here, like there's some National Geographic quick videos on different kinds of animals, for example. There's also a language learning section, which is books in Spanish and French. So if your child is learning those languages or already speaks them, this is a great way for them to practice reading in those languages. And then there are also some puzzles and games, which we'll talk about in a minute. But for now, let's go ahead and look at the storybooks. So Tumble Book does a great job of breaking materials down into different categories to help you find what you're looking for as quickly as possible. There is a section here under storybooks called new books, so some of the newest books they've added. Then if you're looking for some award winners or bestsellers, there's a section for them as well. There's an alphabet and reading section early readers, and then they continue breaking it down by different topics, friends and family, different authors, Robert Munch, Kate DiCamillo, and that sort of thing. Uh, for our purposes today, let's go ahead and click Lola at the library. So when you click on a book, it takes you to this home page for the book, and it generally looks something like this. In the middle here, there is a section describing the book so you can get a sense of what it's going to be about. And on the right over here, You'll notice that the author and illustrator both have hyperlinks, so you could actually click on their names and see what other books by them are available through Tumble Book. There's also a section called Tumble Time that shows about how long it would take to read each book, and then there's some reading level information here. So this grade portion that I've highlighted is going to be of the most use to you there. If you look on the left, you'll see there's an image of the cover of the book, and then there are also some different menu items, so your child can read the book, but then they can also have an experience beyond just reading by playing some games, taking some quizzes. Um, if you're home educating, you can make a lesson plan and there's also a portion where they can do their own book report and I'll show you that in a moment. But for now, let's go ahead and play the video. So you're going to want to click play video. And once you click play video, it will open in a new window. And after this little introduction, you'll see it will actually go through and redo the entire book. So here we have the title page, so the title, the author, the illustrator, cute little introduction and animation here of the book itself. And then if you had the sound on, which I don't right now for our purposes, you would actually hear a voice reading this book. And your child can follow along um, with what is being read by looking at the way the text is in different colors. So the red is what's currently being 
read by this particular reader. And most books, it's like a red or just a different shade of black or gray or something like that. And that's really helpful for them to be able to follow along. And if you'll notice, this video is just over three minutes, so your child can sit for three minutes and read along with this video. And then if you go back to the page about the book, you'll see these different activities we can do. So let's go ahead and click on a game over here on the left. It's this kind of yellow icon. And when you open the game, it'll also open in a new tab. And this is a sentence game, which is one of the most common types of games available on Tumble Book Library. So what it's done is it's taken a sentence of text from the book itself, and then it's taken three illustrations from the book as well. And your child has to match what they've read with the correct image. So it's just another useful way for them to test out their reading comprehension and see if they're really understanding what's being read. So Lola and her mommy give back the books from last week. So you'd want to find the picture of Lola returning a book. Screen, got it right. Sometimes there is story time. You want to find an image that most resembles story time. That one, and so on and so forth. So that's a game you can play. There are also quizzes as well. So if you click that, you have the option to either take a full quiz, which is a little bit longer, or a quick quiz, which is about five or six questions usually. And again, it's another comprehension-based question. So what activity does Lola not do at the library? Probably doesn't do gymnastics at the library. Click it and go on. You can also have the option to print the question so your child can fill them out by hand. Um, and when you're done, it will provide the answers and you can print that as well. So that's one of the storybooks. If you also click read alongs here, again, it's broken down to we have early readers, chapter books, advanced readers, and then some classics. So say your child is reading Little Women. Again, that home page looks very similar to what we've seen before, right? The description, information about the author, how long it would take to read. So this is definitely a bigger project. It's saying it would take about 19 hours to read. And here, what you would do is you would click read online and it will open up the book again in a new tab. And it has the option with some highlighting. There's also some really useful customization options, especially if your child has some visual challenges or some learning challenges where you can actually adjust the size of the text and the font as well. So if you click text options down here towards the middle, you can increase the size of the text. You should see it increasing behind me. You can even change the font if that's helpful. So you can really make this adaptable so it's the best experience possible for your child. There's a little tab here where you can click and insert some notes. You can bookmark sections and then there's also a chapter menu. So your child can track their reading that way and they can either click down here to go forward and back as such on these green arrows, or they can again use that chapter menu, which will be a separate pop-up window. So that's read-alongs. There's also eBooks where they can sit and read and those are a little less adjustable. You can't customize the text or the font. Um, and then graphic novels, which are the same sort of look as the eBooks. So I'll go ahead and click one of those graphic novels. And again, they're divided by different categories that could be useful when you're helping your child select a book. So there's some classics like Geronimo Stilton is always really popular, some early readers, some advanced readers, and so on and so forth. So again, you'd click the book. It has that information screen. And then you would click read online over here. And it opens up in a tab. The options here up at the top, again, there's a chapter menu, a page menu. On these, your child can scroll down to read. You see it looks just like if you were to read the actual print book. It's the same images and colors and everything. Or they can click through with arrows to read it. So that's another exciting option. Videos we talked about. And then I just want to show you these puzzles and games real quick. So most of the games are going to be those sentence games, like the Lola ones that we did earlier. But there's also a memory game, which takes images from books and the child has to match them to each other. So those are a lot of fun as well. And lastly, I'd like to show you Tumble Math real quick. So it's available up here on the top right, or you can access it through the library website. It's just below where Tumble Book is on our internet resources page. If you click Tumble Math, you'll see it's organized very similarly. So it has all of these different colored tabs up towards the top that so um, different math topics that your child may be working on. So let's say your child is working on addition right now. You'd click addition, 
And then what Tumble Math has here, and it's really special, is they have picture books that help reinforce the learning skills. So if we wanted to read Adding with Sebastian Pig and Friends at the Circus, we would just click that, turn the volume off real quick, start playing, sit through the little introduction real quick. At the top, it shows you what percentage of the book is read, so that's really helpful so you can see how far you have to go. And if you had the sound on, you would hear it reading the book again, and you can see that the portion being read is in a, more of a black as opposed to the rest of the text, which is gray. And there are these cute little animations. And if you go along through the book, there are actually math problems in the book that your child can solve. So this is a really useful way to reinforce not only math concepts, but literacy concepts. And these are ways that you can get your child a little more engaged with both of them. So once again, Tumble Math and Tumble Book are both available for free through the Roanoke Public Libraries. We hope you check them out and we hope you enjoy them. Thanks so much.